good afternoon everyone so this is uh, actually this is my device uh, the purpose system for cloud connected ICU ICU patient monitoring system so you see here you, you see that so this is actually the code part of the device here so you see the microcontroller development board here I used uh, uh, Genuino 101 development board so it includes a 32-bit uh, Intel Cori microcontroller so it is uh, more or less powerful and for the connectivity I used uh, Ethernet shield so you see there is a RJ45 port that can be used to connect the device to the cloud some other sensors such as such as uh, So first of all, this is the ECG sensor. So it can take the electromagnetic phenomena of your heart within a certain time. And this is the vibration sensor or movement sensor. So I used it for collecting the body movement of a patient within a certain time. If movement is uh, more, then and said okay something is ha something wrong is going on and here is the is a sensor for collecting temperature and humidity of the, of the patient's bodies and this is for emergency button so in case of emergency patients if patients if the patient has feel something bad so if the patient can invoke the emergency button so then it can send the emergency report to the doctor as well as the nurses and the hus and the hospital in charge and this is this tiny device this is a really nice device so a nice sensor that can gives us the gives us the uh, it works as a pulse oximeter actually it's a pulse oximeter sensor so it can measure the oxygen situation of the blood so it's, it's really a nice sensor I said and if you see here is a buzzer that is used for sending something in case of emergency it can automatically automatically warning uh, and also the also little LED is there if you notice that so this is for for emergency indicator and and some other cables uh, this uh, is like it's like a like a, a mesh of, mesh of cables over there and yeah I have a plan to add this uh, blood pressure blood pressure sensor actually it's a blood pressure measurement so i have already find out the pin and, and I, I am working on it to connect it with with, with this device uh, still working on it hopefully hopefully i'm able to connect it with the device so it can be used to measure the blood pressure of a patient so that means the doctor can able to measure the blood pressure uh, by by pressing one button it can take the blood pressure and send it to the cloud and that's all or we can set an interval after a certain time period you can take the blood pressure so that's all it's, uh, it's really really nice thing and another plan so this is the 360 degree camera i have a plan to add this camera to monitor the patient in real time so provided that so there is a challenging so this is an IP camera, so it's possible to connect it through the through the through the internet, not internet, internet 
and hospital is possible to connect to the internet networking so hospital staffs can see that their patients is easily done is easily it's possible to done so it can be done very easily but the problem is the challenging thing is that to transmit data through iot that doctors can remotely remotely view the video comes from this camera that that is actually challenging so actually it's some limitations of our iot uh, have a plan to use web rtc uh, but uh, still working on it it's a little bit challenging for me uh, there's a lot of issues uh, but hopefully i am able to connect it for for the inches hospital inches so give the opportunity of the hospital inches to see the patients uh, uh, patient in real time as through the sensor data as well as the video stream so that's all for my device thanks for watching hello everyone in this video i will show you how this device is stream the data to the thinger.io cloud so as i told you before the device needs ethernet connection for connecting to the the cloud so i plugged to it rj45 connector and here is the device so let's see here is see this is the thinger.io cloud platform so this is my i have already logged in my account and here you see this is my device and device is status is connected so my device is genuino 101 and it is connected right now so let's check the dashboard see there is a dashboard is there so this is my dashboard so this is my dashboard you see so you see data is changing if you see that the ECG data is coming and it's gonna be automatically changing so I need so I just place my hand over there so to do some experiment so this is the ECG and there's no pulse because uh, because I haven't I have the, the sensor is empty so this is the this is the this is actually the a pulse sensor as well as the pulse oximeter and uh, what else the temperature is there this is the body temperature it measures the temperature using from, from this device so so you can see a little temp temperature changes now now you see the changes of temperature as well as changes of humidity if I so and this is the emergency call if button is pressed you see the one and now it's zero so if i press the button well, this is the button if i press it press and hold it you can see the zero so release zero and this is this is actually the movement so you see since i since i'm moving this sensor so there's a chance for there ah, okay now try, let's check the pulse so if you notice that these two readings pulse and pulse of change is zero now it can make my pulse i press my finger and it's going to be major okay the oxygen level is 94 percent and this is the pulse it's going to show the pulse okay since i place the finger on it and here the data so i replace the my finger now now zero so that's all about the thing of io thing of cloud so it's really nice uh, 
thanks to the thing I offer gifts as a as a nice opportunity to play with it. And uh, that's all. Uh, and one thing, the thing I also has a uh, you can add your personal dashboard on it. So like this type of dashboard is available on Thinker IO. And if you want to see the statics of the device, so if you want to see your device status like that, okay, let's check out your device to you see. This is the device, it also gives you the device status. The device is connected, how many data is there. And so, device is online and the trans data transmitted and received that sector using Thing and IO. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. And next time, I will show you how this dashboard, dashboard on, on, on a mobile device to visualize all of this data on 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 your mobile phone again thank you so this is the application so our device is connected with the so you can see the humidity just one thing I is I just said that I am using the Intel XDK simulator for doing this application so you can see here temperature humidity so it can measure the body temperature body humidity if the heart rate is zero movement is one heart rate is zero because this sensor this is the heart rate sensor is so if I press my finger on it and then you can check the BPM so you can see now is 53 and as well as this sensor has it measured the the oxygen level of your blood so it measures the oxygen level of my blood is 94 percent so if i depress my finger so you can see what's happened you can see it's going to be zero and the bpm so it's also goes to be zero and now let's check the temperature and humidity sensor so i try to increase the temperature a little bit so if you see Still temperature not increasing, okay. Or maybe it's decreasing. Okay, so and then humidity there is no change. Okay, you can see the change. The humidity is now forty seven and now thirty seven. So our sample temperature is 31. So if I press my finger, 32, so one degree increased. So actually, this data comes from 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 this from this sensor. So which is connected with uh, our our deep system. Okay, now let's check something else. You can see the ECG is there. So actually, it still is not coming. It gives you dummy data. So I may change something. Look, my my hand on top of that. You can see the check is now going to be zero. Now it's going to be zero. They place my hand, you see. Now, so it gives a dummy data. So we need to put it on on, on patient body for getting the real data. 
what else left so we have we have already shown about the temperatures humidity and heart rate movement movement so movement sensor is here so it can detect huge movement if it if the movement is so much then it gives you zero I think now it gives you one that means movement so much movement so you can see so this is the the logic of movement sensor and what's about these guys yes yeah, this guy is uh, interesting <laughs> I try to connect it to to this device it's a little bit tricky but one guys already done this so thanks that guys I don't remember the name of that guys so I get some 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 so this is the last last measurement value is 110 by 82 actually this application shows the last measurement value uh, the highest level is so this is 82 this is 110 so actually it shows the the last measurement value and what else okay the emergency in case of emergency so actually now we have emergencies situation so I just uh, just uh, comment this condition because otherwise it always gives you the emergency notification so for checking the emergency have a look so if I press the button I have a button with my device so if I press the button for demonstrating the emergency situation you can you can see patient emergency needs as well as the emergency normal to emergency light is on notification is there so this is the way our emergency works notification as well as the light I'm pressing the button actually okay so that's all about my project about my yield time patient monitoring system using Arduino 101 and thanks for watching good luck